What does a yes even mean when saying no is not respected? So this quote is the foundation of positive reinforcement and as horse trainers ourselves or being horse mummies, horse owners, it's our responsibility to ask them the question but to also accept the answer as a no. decided to make a video on positive reinforcement, force retraining. It's a topic that's really passionate for me and how we run the sanctuary, so I'd like to get a bit more into it. And this video is going to get a bit sciencey, which is a bit different to usual, because this topic and uh, this way of training is so heavily supported by science. We're going to actually put some of the links below so you can look into it, and we really hope you're going to get a bit deeper into it. So I really hope you enjoy this video, I hope you learned something enjoy our way of training. In psychology, there are four methods of what we call conditioning. These are positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, and negative punishment. In this video, we will be focusing on positive and negative reinforcement. Reinforcement aims to increase the likelihood of a behavior. Now, there's two types of reinforcement, negative and positive. Negative reinforcement is the most common training method in the horse world. If you've ever ridden traditionally, you'll know what I mean. The classic pressure and release until a desi desired behavior happens. You pull on the reins, pressure, until the horse slows down and you let go, release. The horse's actions are generally a result of them wanting to relieve the pressure placed on them. A human example would be that warning signal that sounds when you sit in the driver's seat of a car without a seatbelt. The annoying beep, 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 pushes you to click your button because you want the sound to stop. So, in negative reinforcement, something undesirable is removed in order to increase the likelihood of a behavior. Positive reinforcement, on the other hand, is when something desirable is added in order to increase the likelihood of a behavior. If I was trying to teach my horse how to smile with positive reinforcement, what I would do is reward it every time it makes a smile-like movement. So the horse learns that it receives rewards when it completes the task that it is being asked of. It is therefore more driven to complete the behavior because it knows it will receive a reward. In this video, you can see Leia using positive reinforcement techniques with her horse, Cadet. There is no one perfect way to train, but we find that horses who have been through mentally and physically challenging situations find positive reinforcement more beneficial. So many of our horses have had difficult pasts. Trufa, Quarantino, and Cadet are perfect examples of wonderful horses that were pushed too far and have many lasting mental issues as a result. We have found that positive reinforcement allows them to build confidence without pressure and to slowly find their feet after their autonomy was disrespected. Positive reinforcement is more of a conversation with your horse as it places communication at the forefront of training. On the other hand, negative reinforcement can be seen as more of a job interview, where perhaps a wrong answer could lead to a temporary loss of some privileges. The most important part of the training method is the reinforcement. This will depend per situation and per horse but generally reinforcement is usually food re rewards or scratches, if your horse responds well to that. The food is really the primary reinforcer for a behavior. And here's another little science tidbit. What we call a primary reinforcer is something that is biologically necessary to a person or animal. This biological necessity, which is a fancy way of saying something that you really need, um, means that there is no conditioning, no learning required to create a response. In psychology terms, this is called an unconditioned stimulus. For example, if you hold food in front of a dog's face, they might begin to drool. 
and no training is necessary for that response. This is an unconditioned stimulus that creates a response without any learning or training. Positive reinforcement takes advantage of this natural biological response, and it uses it as a tool for communication and learning. So, the second part to any positive reinforcement training is your tool for communication. Some people use mechanical clickers, some people use their voice, but the important part is a consistent sound or cue that communicates to your animal that they did something right and that a reward is coming more sciencey terms for you. In psychology, this is what we call a secondary reinforcer. The click from the clicker or your mouth is really just a signal that food is coming. So eventually, after a process of pairing and learning, the clicker should create the same physical response as the food. Some of the tools that I choose to use my favourite things for positive reinforcement. I always like to use a brightly coloured bum bag and use the same one so they know when I've got it that it's training time and they spot it, they know training session's about to happen. And inside, got my very important clicker. I'm not going to click it because there's horses around and they'll hear it. So I also put in here whatever treats I'm going to use. Quite often use hay cobs. Depends on the horse. Some some you need a higher stimulation, so some horses I can use carrots and apples, but some horses that's too much, so it's different with each horse. So I feel that. And one more tool for my dove, hopefully in here, mm. the bottom, my fly swat. Mm. <laughs> this is my chosen target, and uh, I get these because they're really easy to get hold of, they're brightly coloured, they see, and they're super cheap, and mm. they're light, so you can just stick them down your pants like this when you're out to go off and do stuff, and they're always there. And then to give the confidence, the horse, you can get it out and use it as a target. When they touch it, it's when you click, give them the drink. So these are my favourite tools. Nice. way that you can have a go and try and understand what positive reinforcement is is something fun you could do with one of your friends we're actually gonna we're gonna have a go and see if this works we've never tried it before but we will we're gonna try and get someone they don't know who yet to put a piece of fruit on the head just with positive reinforcement we're gonna do what we would do with an animal with a horse with a human and see how much it works you can try this as well so this is how it's gonna work I have a task in mind that you have to do with this nectarine. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Because I have no idea. You have no idea. Whenever you do something in the right direction, I'll click yes. and you'll get a blueberry. Okay. I think I'm allowed to eat this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. I think it works. Okay. Here's your nectarine. Go crazy. What go crazy? Do what you think. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, oh, what can I do with this? What do you mean, Miss Chris? Just try all different things, and if you're in the right direction, I'll click. <laughs> and you get a blueberry. Oh. That was it. That's what I wanted you to do. Sorry, that's what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to put it on your head, and you put it on your head. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <Oops. laughs> okay. That was very quick. <laughs> so you can see that even this little exercise with a human is fun and that it works. The reason we train this way at Tenerife Horse Rescue is because we want to treat our horses with the respect that they deserve. They're incredibly sensitive creatures with pasts as complex as our own. If you said no to something, you would hope that that would be respected. This training method gives them a voice. It allows them to say no and ensures that their participation is genuinely voluntary. There's nothing more rewarding than when your horse chooses to work with you. If you listen to their no, a yes will mean so much more. so much for watching our video on positive reinforcement and I hope you learned a bit and hope you enjoyed to see a little bit how we interact with our horses.
I'd love to hear about you as well if you if you have any um, videos or interesting stories of how you do positive reinforcement let us know below comment below we'd love to hear them and if you haven't of course already please give us a thumbs up subscribe hit that bell and we'll see you next week yeah